What's up, guys? Matt from AchievementHunter.com, and today we're going to be getting all 54 golden gnomes and a secret gnome puzzle at the end of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. A lot of stuff to collect here, so uh, we're going to have a lot of time to get to know each other, have a little bit of fun, you know? Anyway, the first gnome is uh, in Crazy Dave's Garage. Pretty easy to see right there on the ledge next to the map of uh, some type of garden thingy. Anyway, the second one, as you head down and get to do some of the story quests, it'll open up more of Dave's area. And uh, just go ahead and you see this little button over here on the wall. Pew! Get that. And a gnome pops up from the ground. Pretty easy. There's 14 total in the backyard, so we're going to go ahead and wipe those out first. Uh, this one's in the Citron's uh, special area. Again, you're going to have to do some of the story quests. And uh, you'll pop and grab that one. We're going to try and hurry through all these. I'm kind of quick with the cuts, so uh, hopefully you can grab them all pretty quick. This one's in the corn area. You can, after you do all of his stuff, he opens up his storage shed, and then there's this thing. You have to do pretty much all of his quests to get that one unlocked, but again, you're going to be doing all of them anyway to get to the next area, so it's no big deal. Anyway, this is in the rose place. You uh, walk right in, see this little fountain? Shoot that button, and then there's a gnome right there in the fountain. Pretty, pretty easy to grab that one. Uh, the next area, we're going to switch over to zombies, because some of these you have to be in the zombie base to get. This one's pretty much right by the spawn. Take a little bit of a left, and uh, there you go, right in the tombstone. You don't even have to do a quest for that one. Just right there for you. This next one, though, you do have to unlock Zomboss's Lair, which is like the first or second quest you get for the zombies. You turn around as soon as you get in there, and you see that dude up there on the cliff. Super Brains makes this way easy to do, otherwise you're just going to be fumbling around and die in that lava pit like I did. I died about, I don't know, four, five, eight times trying to get in there, figuring out the best way to do it. This next one's going to be in the Imp area. You just pop around through that portal and then take a right. You see a little golf cart? Has a little gnome drive in it. Pretty, pretty, pretty little driver. Looking, looking good. Uh, well, I'm trying to get these in a certain order so it's a little bit easier for you guys if you're just moving on through. Uh, this one's in the uh, Super Brains area. It's like Krypton layer or whatever you want to call it. I think Fortress of Brainitude or something like that. Uh, grab it in the back right behind the big statue of his ego. For this next one, you're going to be heading to the pirate area. Hop on through that portal and uh, go see old Deadbeard, which would make total sense because he's a zombie. I, I think that's his name. Oh, yep, Deadbeard. There we go. Hop over, uh, head into his quarters, get on top of his bed, and grab that gnome. He uh, seems to sleep with it. Gives it a little bit of a night, nice night charm. Anyway, this next one's over by the, uh, I think it's Zom Park area. You, you know this, like, back way to get into the sewer and all that. Just take a left as soon as you go in. I think, I think this was actually the second one I found. Don't know what number it is for you. I put the counter in later, so we'll figure that out as we go along. Uh, after that, just head back to the docks. That's pretty close to that sewer thing anyway. And uh, you see right over here on the right, there is a sewer pipe that has another gnome in it just for you. All right, this next one Jeff actually showed me. He got it with the Citron, and he just rolled over. But I found it pretty easy to get with the Imp. And you uh, flop over, hover a little bit, and then get this. It's down in the sewer area. It's pretty easy to see that bridge. This next one, though, you head over to the, uh, there's like a soccer field over to, the, I think, the left of the plant space, if you're looking at it. Uh, you need to get up here with Super Brains. It's on top of this billboard, not billboard, scoreboard. That's more accurate. And that's pretty easy, but that should be all 14 in the backyard. Now, after you have, I think it's 10, but I checked it at 14 for this. You'll get like a little gnome thing and they'll call you on the phone and they'll be like, Hey, where'd you get all the gnomes? And you're like, oh, sweet. Awesome. You guys are paying attention to me, which is kind of weird. Anyway, they'll put a bomb down by the shore or the dock, whatever the fuck. I'm dumb right now. I haven't slept for like three days. Uh, you grab the bomb, get in, go down to the sewer, put it on that grate right there. It'll blow up. And then you can go follow me really quick, go a little bit down here in the sewer, a little bit deeper. There's this cave, and uh, you see this awesome little uh, shrine, I guess, to the golden gnomes. There's these two chests, that's a whole a whole bunch of stuff, and this is where all the golden gnomes are stored. If you do that, you'll get your uh, No Man's Land achievement. That's like 25 gamer score, so you know, might as well go down there. I guess you could wait if you want to have all the gnomes, and it'd be a lot more impressive when you walk down. All right, now you got all the ones in the backyard. We're going to move on to the multiplayer maps. Each one of those has about two gnomes in them, and I think the Turf Wars ones have like five to six. Uh, this is the Z-Tech factory map. Uh, if you just head left to the spawn, there'll be a gnome over in a cage by some dolphins and shit. And then if you turn around immediately and look over there, you see a little button. Shoot it with your laser beam, and then uh, from the sky, a balloon will come delivering you a gnome who's hanging some mad tin right there upside down. Look at that shit. All right, this next map is the Time Park. Uh, if you head over to the Rome section of Time Park, go into the little portal, and right then you'll see button to your left, gnome below, easy to grab, looks beautiful in your collection now. The next part is in the Zegypt area of Time Park. A little bit of a, the Nile, I would assume that is, flowing right down there, and there's a sewer drain to the Nile. And uh, there you go. Got another gnome right there. 
The next map is Sandy Sands. Uh, if you look right here, you see a little bit of a stream and then a button up there to your right. And as you fall back down, you see Moses drifting in his swaddling cradle. Or it's just a gnome. I don't know. You, you get a gnome or Moses could be there too. It's, it's give or take. Uh, then on, I think the other side of the map, there's a, you see this little area up here. There's some construction going on. Shoot that pot right up there. Gnome hidden right inside of it. Easy, easy as pie. I don't know why you'd hide a gnome in there, but the ancient Egyptians had many secrets. Uh, okay, now we're going to the Colosseum. Uh, you saw the statue at the beginning. Just head over to the left of the statue, go down that hill. You need to be a small character to get this one, so I recommend the shrimp or uh, any really, like I think a pea shooter will work. Most plants will. And this next one, this is I think the right where the spawn is if you do garden ops. You'll jump off and you see a little button. You're probably gonna die. The imp is the only one I came close to living there, but that will open up that wall right there and you have another gnome right in your collection. Still don't know what number it is. You guys do though, because you have the, the number thing. All right, this map is Boney Island and uh, you'll see the, the little shore over there. Head over to your right after you get to the shore. You can see all those different houses and stuff and there's a gnome. Uh, now go to the only part of that map that has fo green foliage, and you can you can kind of find it. There'll be like a waterfall, and you see that button. You can't shoot that button with your laser, but you can hit it with your Hadouken. And uh, there you go. Get another gnome. I use Super Brains for most of these, by the way, because he has got the longest jump and all that stuff. So he's pretty good. Uh, this is uh, the Frosty Creek map. Uh, you can see the toilet right over there, and uh, then you follow it to the, the truck. And then at the same toilet, head right, and you can see on the bottom of the bridge, little button, shoot it, and then just like Moses, the log comes up, and there you go, you got a, another gnome. I don't know, that might be a lumberjack gnome, because they, they do all that, that stuff. All right, this is the Zin Peak map. Uh, you'll see that statue that was uh, at the beginning of this start of this clip, and just follow that little path there, and just hop up on that ledge, and there you go, you have another gnome. And the next one here, if I remember right, there's a stream. Yeah, there's a little stream. I recommend the imp, but really it's just you go follow the stream until it gets to a waterfall, fall right down, and you got another gnome hidden in a secret location. These guys are some bastards hiding these. Like, these are some pretty difficult uh, gnomes to find and stuff like that. Anyway, this is a lunar landing course. Uh, you have this little golf ball thing over here to the right. If you follow that path, you'll see another button, and it opens up this special little secret door, and you head right on there, and to the right by this crate, another gnome i we i feel like we're close to halfway i don't know we, we we might be but anyway a directly opposite of the golf ball guy you will see a little bit of a drill thing right here it, this reminds me of like banjo tui like uh the drill thing that was at the very beginning that grunty sisters were in but instead there's a gnome that has been drilled through the the ground that's a little bit difficult to get he's a little touchy but anyway now we're onto the turf war maps this is uh what's what's this one uh the great white north just follow that path right after the first capture point, and uh, there's a gnome hidden inside of a snowman. So you have to be a little destructive to get this one. After that, keep capturing, and when you get to the third capture point, you'll see this little yeti head up there on the uh, top right. And uh, just blow up that ice right there, the little hidden cave, and a gnome is inside with a ton of treasure things. I don't, I don't know why we're collecting these gnomes, it's money right there. After you got that one, uh, go ahead and cap the third area and move on to the fourth one. Right before you get to the fourth one, just take a right down this little stream, you'll see these ice things, just break them. There's a gnome hidden in the one on the far end. And as soon as you get that one, whereas there's another gnome, you keep following that stream out to a little lake. Hop on that little ice barge out there in the middle and take a left and you'll see a little button over there hidden in the trees. After you press it, up, oh, little gnome comes out from underneath and trip, fall in the water and uh, die. That's uh, how you have to collect that one. Moving on after you capture that last point, just keep going and you'll see those signs warning you about dangerous shit and all that. Follow this path over here to the left and you'll see these two trees in a box. There's a box down there you should be aiming for, but I just kind of fell. And uh, you see the box right there. Now, this particular gnome, my, my good buddy Larry, he uh, informed me that sometimes it gets fucked up and it seems like you already have it. If you go down here and it says you already have it, just power cycle your Xbox, you'll go ahead and get it easy peasy next time. Anyway, uh, when you move forward towards that next point, just take a right right before you get to it and you'll see a button over there across the ledge. That will make a gnome get dropped from a bird or something, and there you go. I think that should be all the gnomes in this map. Now we're gonna move on to Zomburbia. As soon as you spawn, just follow that path right there and take a right gnome right there before you even really get thick into the map. Easy peasy. Uh, this next one though, it should be after you've capped the first point, you'll see the uh, All-Stars house. And then as soon as you take a right right before it, There'll be an engineer type house. You see it broke the fence. There's a button that'll open up the garage and there you go. Another gnome 
That's definitely gotta be the engineer's house. Way too many tools for that not to be the engineer's house. Anyways, you keep moving through the level, you'll get to Zom Park eventually. This is where like a zoo area. Take a left at the signs, you see those little scorpions, and then there's in this box of syrup another golden gnome. Pretty easy to find. And this one's also at the capture point. You just take a little bit further, you can see right there in that sewer grate. I shot at it for you. Roll up into your little ball. I, I like to use a Citron, because he's he's got some pretty good uh, mobility for, for all this stuff. Makes it easy to get to places. Not like the, the pea shooter, but... Anyway, as you keep moving through the map, you'll see that zoo sign. This is where the parade starts with all the floats and stuff and the zombies. And uh, you'll see this kind of tiny little scratch on the plywood there. Break it open with your, your laser beams or whatever you want to use, and there will be a gnome hidden in there. As you keep moving, you get to Zombie University, and I just follow this. There's actually the library you have to fuck up anyway, but there's a secret little button there. Well, like with these mushroom buttons are the theme of this whole thing. Shoot that, it'll blow up a hidden library wall, more treasure, and another gnome just for you. Still don't know why we're not taking any of that money. I could totally buy like three character packs of that. Anyway, uh, we're gonna move on to Moon Base Z. And this, as soon as you spawn, again, look up there. It's hard to see that, that one button. It's really, really hard to see. Shoot it, and then, boom, asteroid comes down, and another gnome goes into your gnome bank. Which is kind of weird that there's a gnome bank to begin with, but there actually is in this game. It's, it's pretty cool. Anyway, after you capture the first point in there, go ahead and move on, and there's another button. I can't believe I walked right by this one like six times. And by the way, shout out to people on Reddit who have found so many of these gnomes and made it even possible for me to find half of them for you. I, I found like... I don't know, maybe 40 on my own, but the rest of them were just so annoying. Anyway, after you grab that gnome, capture the second point in the map and keep moving on a little bit farther. You'll see this weird contraption that I think throws zombies into a black hole. Anyway, just fall down to a ledge right there and you'll see another gnome right there for you. And uh, then keep moving, progress through the level. There'll be like a drill a little bit further and I think it's the third capture point. Just go right past the capture point. You'll see these weird muncher things. Inside one of the barrels is a golden gnome just for you. So uh, go and grab that and don't jump in the muncher things because we're going to need you to turn around immediately and ignore the capture point again. Go to the drill area and look down there. You can see kind of like crystals and stuff. Just fall down there. It's, it's faith. Again, I don't know how half these are supposed to be found. This one was, again, shout to Reddit for being awesome and finding all these awesome things. After you fall on here, there's another little switch in this crystal cave, which is like my favorite level in DK64. And uh, keep walking farther. You'll see a few more treasure things and a golden gnome in here. It's actually a really cool little hidden area that they, they I would have never found if I wasn't looking for all these gnomes. So give it a, give it a shot. Check it out. Uh, the fourth capture point is where the next one is. You're going to go past it and then hop up here on this ledge. I'm going to go on my ball form here and shoot it where it is. Be right over there. Go into your ball form and whoop. Luckily, there's a little gravity, like very low gravity over there. And then just pop out and get your gnome, and I think that should be all of them for this particular level. I was correct. All right. The last level is the Seeds of Time. This is like probably the first, I played this one in the beta. Anyway, this is the first area of right after you spawn. Just head over to the right, get your gnome, pretty easy. The next one's gonna be in the Zegypt area. As soon as you go through the middle teleporter, just follow that pathway. Another one hidden amongst these all these little collectible dolls. This one is in the Rome area of the Seeds of Time. You'll see that statue in the middle and take a right, see this little button behind a waterfall. I remember seeing that in the beta too and I was like, what the fuck is this? But uh, you shoot that and it makes a gnome pop up from behind the, uh, the cellar area there. Pretty much all these, except for the ones after this, all the ones before it are in uh, gift shop type areas. This one, however, it's right by the gift shop. You saw a little path, hop up there. Super Brains again makes it so easy, just get right up there. Uh, the next part of it is in the, uh, the Asia area and just follow over to the left you'll see this little bridge and look up and another little mushroom button shoot that and then it'll make from like a zen cloud come down your wonderful gnome ready with his gnominess after you uh, collect that one the last one you have to switch to the plant side after you got the last point and go ahead be a plant fire back over there it's in the plant spawn in this like weird smithy thing and that is it that is the last gnome that is in all of Plants vs. Zombies. And if you've been following along at home, you now have them all as well, and that's 50 gamer score, which is not really worth it, except for the fact that you go back down to your gnome area, and it opens up a secret passage with all of your hidden gnomes now collected. I guess it was like a pressure sensitive thing, I, I don't know. Anyway, you can go right into that secret room. I'm gonna run on in there really quick. There's some more chests. They have like a ton of money and some hidden special exclusive stuff. That's a th 100,000 coins. But if you turn around like I'm about to do, 
There you go. Good job, Pass Matt. Turn it around. Hit that secret button. Again, super secret gnome button. Shoot it. It'll lower the wall right behind you. And there's a whole other fucking puzzle of shitty mystery that you have to solve. And I know you're probably thinking, I'll never solve that. That's so, so difficult. Don't worry. Thanks to, again, the fine folks at Reddit, I've figured it out. And by I, I mean they. And we can exactly show you how to do it right now. You may have recognized those symbols earlier from the secret uh, room video we did. Those are the symbols that are inside the secret room that a lot of people told me was a fable easter egg. Didn't think about that at the time, but you're probably right. These are all kind of hidden up there on the, the sides of the, this column, making it look kind of like a planetarium. Anyway, on the other secret room that we had, there was these weird little numbers, which I can now reveal I think are Braille. But if you look into the sky at night in the middle of the battleground, or the backyard battleground, you can see all those different little constellations looking like those braille symbols. And you can match those up to the things inside the secret room that we went to originally, and then you can determine the order, which the order is the outside needs to be the little uh, watering can, middle flamingo, then you go down and have the fence, and finally the uh, flower pot. And there you go, you see the order right there. Secret room opens up just for you guys, or anybody that puts it in. It's not special to you, I'm sorry. I think you're special and great, but the game doesn't, and that's, I can't be blamed for that at all. Anyway, after that door opens, there's a special secret little gnome thing. I use the word special and secret a lot in this because, again, I think you're supposed to feel important. There is a total of 500,000 coins in here, as well as some exclusive items, and this awesome Start the Magic gnome thing. So that's it, guys. You have gotten all the gnomes, or maybe you didn't, maybe just watch this for fun, and you're just not collecting gnomes at all. And if that's the case, gotta be honest, don't know why you did it, but I'm glad you did. So if you want more awesome guides like this, just check back AchievementHunter.com or on our YouTube and just subscribe. Later, guys.